Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Marvel Legends series Eternals Wave Gilgamesh Build-A-Figure. Here is the Druig figure. This is the last figure in the wave before we get to the Gilgamesh Build-A-Figure. Um, so I am excited for this one. This one looks pretty cool. He's portrayed by actor Barry um, Keoghan, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, I have not seen a single movie with him in it, so I don't know um, how good of an actor he is, but from what I could tell, and for what I've seen, he, he must be a pretty good actor. So um, it'll be interesting to see how he portrays this particular character, um, which we will discuss here in a second as we read his bio. But um, this one is an interesting one. The black and red look awesome. But the design of his costume is going to be a major pain in the ass. I can already tell that now, um, and it's going to suck. But the black and red looks so good, mainly just in the upper portion, but this plastic piece there that comes down, um, that's definitely going to be um, a pain in the ass. Anyway, we get to it. The Eternals movie logo, E up there, build the figure, Gilgamesh. Um, uh, side artwork of Druig there. Uh, back of the package, we get the same artwork, and we have all the figures here, so we have gone through all of them now. We're on Druig, and then next up will be the Gilgamesh build a figure itself. Um, Druig's bio reads, using cosmic energy to control the minds of others, Druig is aloof and powerful, but at times is hard to determine whether he is a friend or foe. Now, I believe in the comics, he actually turned evil or was, was bad. Um, whether that actually truly happens in the movie or not, we shall see. Um, I think when we first saw the first trailer and he's kind of walking out of his cabin in the woods, it looks like, and he's got people that <clears throat> are like um, his followers, it looks like he's got a cult going or something. It looks like he's definitely a bad type of guy. But then we see other scenes where Icarus and the others are there. You can actually see Gilgamesh um, in the background. Um, so maybe that's not what I had thought it would be, and I kind of thought Druig be would end up being a villain of the movie. Um, I guess he still could be. We don't really know. We do know that, of course, Crow, the Deviant, um, will be a, a villain, whether he's the main villain. I guess maybe, maybe I'm wrong on that. I just assume he is. But I think Druig may have... Um, some kind of villainous role to play in there, but as pure speculation, I don't know. Uh, we shall see. We have the Gilgamesh build a figure head play, portrayed by actor Dong Lee, um, but I think he changed his name. It was said he was born, Lee was his name, but uh, Ma Dong Sok. I think my Korean isn't very good, as you know, as I grew up not speaking Korean, only hearing my mother speak it. So um, I'm just going to call him Dong Lee because Lee is his name, but in Korean, his family name comes first. But let's get Druig out of the box and take a look. Um, again, top half looks really cool. Bottom half, eh, it's going to be hard to work with. Okay, so here is the Druig figure out of the packaging. And, um, um, yeah, um, the upper body looks cool. I love the black and red. The black and red looks actually really awesome. But in terms of an action figure, it's definitely lacking. It's going to be kind of down towards the bottom of the ranking list. Um, here we have the Gilgamesh Build-A-Figure head, um, as you can see here, of Dong Lee. That looks pretty good. We're going to stick that off into the pile. He will be the next video. In terms of accessories, Druig uh, comes with open, relaxed hands out of the package. And then we also have these fists in it. I think they're the same hands from Icarus. Yes, so they're the same hands from Icarus, and they do look quite large on Druig as well. Um, in fact, Druig actually does have some reused parts from Icarus, and I was kind of surprised. Um, with this entire wave, I was thinking, oh, everything's going to be completely unique sculpt. Nothing's going to get reused or anything, and turns out I was wrong. So the feet are the same as Icarus, and I think I had mentioned in the Kingo video that they weren't the same, that somebody had mentioned that they were the same from Kingo. I do think that whoever had mentioned it did say that it was the same from Druig. So, in fact, they are the same feet, and then the upper legs are actually the same on Druig. Um, as Icarus. The lower legs are different because Icarus has very particular a boot um, design, but for Druig, you can't really see his legs anyway, so the upper leg above the knee, I guess, isn't really going to matter. It's probably the same kneecap even. It's really not going to matter, but the lower leg, the calf portion, that is a unique sculpt. That one is new, um, but as we take a closer look at the figure, I'll kind of go over some of that, um, but yeah, it's a figure. Um, he's in the movie. It looks okay. 
looks more like a Star, Lord, Star Wars Sith Lord or something. Um, but what I will tell you, surprisingly, this head sculpt is probably the best out of all of them. The Angelina Jolie Athena head sculpt was really good, but I think this one for um, for Barry Keoghan, uh, this might actually be the best head sculpt out of the entire wave. Um, and I really wouldn't have thought it just because I'm really not familiar with the actor at all. Uh, but as we take a closer look, I think you'll see um, how good it is and, and what I'm referring to. So uh, let's go ahead and zoom in on that now. Okay, so looking at the close-up of the head sculpt, I think it looks really good. One thing that you'll notice if you look up images of him, his nose is very distinctive. Um, and I think Hasbro really nailed his nose right because it comes like it gets really rounded on the end um, and Hasbro did that so I think this is actually their best um, head sculpt and digital face print and everything out of all these Eternals figures this one really looks fantastic but you guys let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are on there uh, but looking at the figure um, yeah this right here this whole lower body uh, overlay piece this is a pain in the ass to work with because it's really going to hinder his legs um, from doing anything. And yes, there's some open areas where you can get to his legs, but it's definitely um, it's definitely going to be a challenge to work around. Uh, but looking at, as you can see, the lower legs are different, but you can see this line work there on the upper legs that is the same on Druig as well as uh, Icarus, and they are the same feet. Uh, but again, those calves are new as he has this diagonal line work there in the front, going in front of the calves. Uh, but looking at it, the black and red is nice, but one thing that you'll really want to look out for, um, if you see multiple and you're looking to pick it up, really want to look at them because all these red circles and red line work throughout, um, you, you will likely not find a perfect a perfectly painted figure because these red circles can end up being just all over the place. Now I brightened it up so we could really um, kind of see how it all looks because all the, all the lines, everything in here, it's all in the sculpt, which is awesome when they do that type of thing. But when you have to paint onto those exact lines, um, that's gonna get tough when we have like mass produced figures. Now the one that I have is actually pretty good. It's not 100%. And it's off in a little bit of areas, but for the most part, it really hits the mark. So on this robe piece that comes down, you'll see like right here, it's slightly off from the sculpt of that circle. And that's how you can really tell is you look at the circles to see if it's lined up with the sculpt um, in the mold. Uh, uh, you know of those lines and the circles and everything and then throughout the chest and the torso uh, It would be the same thing so mine line up pretty good But there are some out there that are way off like way off and it, you know if you're looking at it from far away You wouldn't really notice but when you look at it up close in the details you're thinking like what the hell happened? It was just completely off-centered and throws it all off and it's just all over the place some are good some are bad some are really bad some are okay you just never know. So it's th for this particular figure, it's best to actually, you know, have it in hand to look and, and choose which one you think is going to be uh, going to look pretty good. But again, I got lucky on mine, whereas that one is kind of the only one that is really like not a just slightly off the mark. Um, but throughout the torso, I actually got pretty lucky going there. But again, all the red paint in there and all those spots, that's all sculpted work. So it came out looking really good. The black and red. Uh, really does look awesome. We don't really get a whole lot on the back. We get some and then it just stops. I mean, look at that. Red paint there and then just boom. Oh, yep, yeah, we're just going to stop. Which sucks because there's some nice detail in there. It would be nice if those were filled in with some paint. But they just didn't do it. Like, looking throughout. Like, it's nice. Nicely designed, but they didn't bother with the paint. The red just stops. Just completely stops. Like, right there. It's kind of crazy that they just stopped the red. These shoulders are kind of crazy. I wasn't expecting those. I think that's going to... Well, it moves with the shoulder, actually, so that's quite nice. Um, so it's an interesting design. Uh, the black and red looks good, but... I mean, the whole, like, full dress all the way down to the floor, it's, that's, again, hard to work with. But let's zoom out so we can see just how difficult it's going to be to get him to move around. Okay, so Druig's articulation, he can look down 
that much. He can look up that much. So surprisingly, he gets a pretty decent amount of range in that neck. Full rotation, of course, and you got some crazy ass head pivot going on there. If that's what you want to do. Uh, the shoulders, you can get to go straight out. As you can see there, you get a full rotation. We have an upper bicep swivel in there. And again, the shoulder pad is a rubbery piece. So you can see it kind of bows out as you twist and turn uh, that bicep. We get a double jointed elbow, which again is pinless. All these eternal figures are pinless on the knees and the elbows, so no pins. Um, solid um, bend at the elbow, wrist swivel, and they do hinge with the standard horizontal hinge. Uh, another diaphragm joint, so he could pivot to his left that much. He could pivot to his right that much. He can go back. I mean, that's forward. You can go back very little, and then forward very little as well. And then you get a swivel um, at that diaphragm joint there. Legs, uh, how far out apart can they go? You can get the legs to go out pretty far, but you want to be careful that at some point this rubber will, material will kind of start to cut and tear, and you, you really want to watch that and be careful, but you can't get the legs out that far. Kicking forward, um, you can do that, but as you can see, it takes the whole thing um, the whole thing with it, so it kind of sucks. We have an upper thigh cut in there. You get a solid double-jointed knee if I can get that bottom one so the knee actually bends quite nicely there's no boot swivel or calf swivel or anything but foot hinges down we get some hinge up actually a lot of hinge up ankle pivot peg holes at the bottom of the feet okay so there is Druig's articulation um, it's just unfortunate this whole like rubber overlay piece how how they did it and that's going to be on the costume design not the action figure I'm not sure what other way they could do it if you notice that like SH Figure Arts, they didn't even bother trying. They only did Icarus, which it's a little piece, so it's not going to get in the way. Even Kingo, not so much in the way. And then Cersei, not so much in the way. But they won't, they're not doing the other figures. I don't think a figure like this, I don't even know how SHF would do it. Because, you know, it's just in the character design. How You know, how can you make a functioning action figure with something like this? And the only way would be for cloth. But then cloth wouldn't match the rest of the figure. And it would just look um, a bit odd. Maybe if something like Mezco or something did figures, they, they could do it right. But, I mean, I just don't know. Other, I don't know of any other way to make it a more functioning figure. Which is a little unfortunate. Okay, so the Eternals are coming along. We're so close, so close. Just one more. We'll add Gilgamesh in here between Makari and Athena. The Eternals figures are looking really, really good together. Um, the, the the long robes and, and draping costumes and everything really hurts and doesn't translate well into action figure form. But what other way was there for them to really do it? It's The blame is going to be on the character designs for the movie. Um, in the movie, obviously, when you have an actual outfit, people can move around and things like that. So in action figures, it's kind of tough. It doesn't really work out. Um, but the colors really pop. They really stand out and, and look pretty good. I just wish um, the action figures were a little bit more easy to use. Um, but it is coming along together quite nice, and I can't wait to add Gilgamesh in here, because once they're all together, they do look good as a collective group. Individually, some of them don't look as great, I will admit, um, but again, together um, as a complete MCU team that we don't, we almost never get, um, it's pretty awesome to see them together. Okay, and that is my review for Druid. Not a whole lot to really discuss. Um, the black and red looks great, but that's really all... Well, no, let me back up. The black and red looks great, and the Barry Keoghan head sculpt is fantastic. And that's really all the, the figure has going on for itself. It sucks to see that two of the figures actually do share some of the same parts. Now, that type of thing is, is typical, you know, so of course Hasbro reuses parts. It's what they do, um, and they do it well. Uh, but here I was thinking they're all going to be unique sculpts and then it turns out they weren't They're It's pretty close, but I guess it makes sense You can't see his upper legs anyway, and you can hardly see his feet. So they're just feet also no big deal uh, But I thought we were going to get a, a wave that was going to be 100% new sculpt on like every single one of the figures and it turns out that was not the case but um, still pretty cool nonetheless and I wouldn't be surprised if like the lower torso portion is the same under like Kingo and this figure um, I'll never see it because of the you know the rubber overlay um, so you know I won't know for sure but that's probably what they do but again I'm excited for the movie what role Druid will play 
in the film. We really don't know. Um, you know, yes, we see some things in, in the trailers and stuff, but I think there's just so much we still don't understand of, of what the movie's about, you know, besides fighting the Deviants and Crow um, taking over and, and Eternals there to protect the humans. I, I, I mean, that's all we really know. We don't know the specifics about any of the characters, what their motivations are going to be, whether good or, or bad, as, as in Druig's case. Uh, but we shall see. But I'm excited. You guys let me know down in the comments below. Did you get your tickets yet? Are you excited for the movie? What do you think of this Druig figure? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you for watching.